So if you are working with this marker sync points and nudging Pro Tool session, I'm going to show you a few things about sync points. And the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to grab this region, this metal tink 01 from the regions list and drag it anywhere into your timeline. Zoom in using your favorite zoom tool of choice. And you'll see if we look at this region there, if we really scroll in, you'll see that there's a little downwards pointing arrow in the line. And that is a sync point if you haven't seen one before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it by pressing the option key using my grabber so that I get a finger and then just delete it or subtract it out. So the way that we add a sync point to a region is to place a cursor anywhere within the region. And in this case, it would make sense to have it where the beginning of the sound starts. Once I've got my cursor placed on my region, the next thing I'm going to do is press command and the comma. And you can see that it adds a sync point in. If it didn't quite go exactly where I want it, what I can do is I can take my and move it into the location where I want it to be at. So now that we have a sync point, let's look at how it actually works. The way that you get a sync point to work is you place your cursor or your, your, your edit cursor anywhere in the timeline where you need to place this sync point at. Once the cursor is placed, press the control key and the shift key and click and it jumps to that sync point location. So say I have a location here location four that I want to jump to. I've got my cursor there and now when I press control shift it jumps that region so that let's get there that sync point lines up exactly where my cursor was at or where that location was at. Again sync points they're pretty useful if you're editing. I hope you find them useful.